Good morning, everybody. Hi. Welcome to another Facebook Live. Um, we are James and Kerry Photography, a husband and wife team here based in London, uh, proud to be uh, photographers for Kew Gardens, and we absolutely love the Southwest too. So we come up uh, every month where we like to do various discussions to help tips for our bride and grooms. And for this month's tip, um, uh, Facebook Live, we're going to be discussing our tips for both bridal and groom prep. Well, yeah, the plan was I came up with the bridal prep plan because I always come up with the ideas for the monthly lives. I love to sort of write about weddings. And um, we was chatting. I said, oh, you know, how about bridal prep? It's quite an important part of the day. And James said, well, what about our grooms? And I said, do you know what? Yeah, us guys, right. we're important as just as well you as the are. lovely brides are. Yep, completely agree. We love our JK grooms as much as our gay, JK brides. Um, and funnily enough, we met one of our JK grooms for next year a couple of months ago, and he was saying he'd already been suit shopping. And was like, hey, you know, we want to get our guys involved as well. So yes, that's what we're going to do today. So before we go on and start uh, doing our top tips, before we just give you a little uh, update as to what we've been doing, um, we did our last wedding of the year at the lovely, beautiful Beaumont Estate, which was the second time that we've done the venue there, and it's an absolute fantastic. It's great to be back. It's beautiful, open grounds, amazing inside. To, oh, it's, it was an amazing day. Wasn't they've it? actually done it up since the, we was back there in 2015 for a lovely wedding, um, and they've done it up since then. And um, mm. we'll be blogging the wedding this Wednesday and. Wow, we are falling in love with autumn weddings. Oh, we absolutely love this time of year. The fa from a photographer's point of view, the colours on the trees, the lovely low light, and if you're lucky, you can get some amazing sunsets too, especially if it was more in the countryside than in yeah, the city. Yeah, and I mean, I love all um, sort of blush and soft pastel colours, um, but this time of year, it was really nice to see some sort of berry and sort of warmer, richer tones, mm. and um, it was really nice. So keep an eye out for our blog this week, because um, we're going to be showing you this the wedding then. The reception, I actually gasped. So when I walked into the reception, I went, oh! <gasps> Wait till you see it. I will say no more. Yeah. Wait till you see it. Yeah, it's, you'll see it soon. Yeah, guys. absolutely can't amazing. Wait to share it with you. Yes. Because again, it's another fantastic wedding that we're, we're really proud of. Uh, really. Being a part of one. Yeah, nice end to, to wedding season. Um, as some of you may know, you're going to be relocating um, to Somerset. So we wanted to finish up the season a bit earlier this year to get mm. ourselves prepared. Um, so we've done our last wedding of 2018. And can you believe it's been five years? Five, five years! years uh, last week since we shot our first ever wedding. I can't believe yeah, yeah. what a journey. The time has just flown by. It's been an incredible journey. Um, we've met some amazing people. We've been Met, reminiscing about the, well. the Italian wedding, looking at the old photos. Oh, Nicola and Stuart, absolutely. That was, that was just, it was just the start of our business. And yeah. we've never looked back. It's been fantastic. And for many more years to come as Yes, well. yeah. So let's crack on with okay. our monthly life. Uh, we've split it up. So we're going to do five tips for the girls and five tips for the guys. And Ladies first. Thank you very much. Very gentlemanly, gentlemanly of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my first top tip um, is the morning of your wedding sort of sets the precedent of the day. So it's really important to get it right because if you have a, a you know, really stressful, um, crazy morning, um, it's just going to sort of set up the rest of the day. So yeah. the first thing would be, you know, make sure you get the right suppliers. I mean, your makeup artist is, I've noticed this lately, it's very important to have a nice, calm, um, really good makeup artist because if the makeup artist comes, or the hairdresser comes in, and they're all stressy and, you know, they've not got a very calming sort of persona, then it could could sort of, you know, stress you out a little bit for the rest of the day. Um, and also... Some people book us for certain hours. We don't do just a full day from bridal prep to first dance. We have like an eight or a 10 hour package. Mm. Um, so if you have booked us for eight hours, say, um, we're arriving at a certain time, please make sure that your makeup artist is still going to be around. Mm. Um, because I have come to a wedding before, a couple of years ago, where I arrived at my allocated time and the makeup artist was just about to leave. Oh, and yeah. so obviously, sorry, our dog is barking underneath here. Um, so yeah, so please make sure, look at the timings, ask what time your photographers are going to arrive and what time your makeup artist is going to leave mm -hmm. and make sure that she's going to be around. Because, you know, even if it's just sort of 15, 20 minutes before we... Um, before the makeup party is going to go, we can just sort of mock up a few shots and that's so that's fine. But make sure that they're they're not going to be leaving before we arrive. Yeah, well, that's a great uh, a great bit of advice to yeah. start off the Facebook Live. So I'll go go on to uh, my first one, uh, which 
it can be both for the uh, bride and groom, really, which is find a nice room uh, for where you want your photos to be taken. Now, we, we live in quite a small flat. Uh, it's not the biggest place. But if my best man, for example, um, who lived down the road had a bigger place, then I would be looking more to want to get my pictures done at his place. Bigger space makes better photos. Small cramped areas makes it a bit... Not tidy, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I think, um, you know, again, the bridal suite is normally a big thing. You know, brides will look to to hire a bridal suite. That's, mm. that's quite traditional. Whereas the guys, not so much. They, you know, will just get ready at home or, you know, and that's absolutely fine. I mean, a lot of the times James does meet the guys at the, this the is ceremony. Something else. Yeah, some of the guys, fine. majority of the time, they're like, nah, just meet me at the church. So I'll go with Kerry to the bride where we can go on about those as well and um i'll help kerry get everything ready uh, if it's not already done uh and then we'll get those photos that we need dress etc and then i'll head on to the church and i'll just get the standard pictures of the guys they're normally pretty chilled out and laid yeah, back yeah that's it. pretty normal but just just something for you guys to consider if mm. you did want the the prep photos as well because we want to you know we think they're important as well for the guys Definitely. so we yeah. want to look good too on our day of course we don't know if the grooms are. so yeah consider booking a hotel room as well good and what have you got for your number two okay my number two is um, I've gone on about this as again the the dress you know um, if you could hang or your bridesmaid could hang the dress up for me when I arrive then um, that would be you know amazing because I don't like to unwrap the dress you know dresses normally arrive all wrapped up in there you know so get the dress ready for me that would be brilliant and one of our brides recently had the most beautiful Ronald Joyce dress and the back oh it was so <laughs> delicate and her, her bridesmaids bless them they had all the gloves and they was like pros and they was moving it and they was an absolute dream because I don't want to be moving these absolutely fantastic dresses that sometimes you've spent a lot of money on mm. and I'm moving it and hanging it around and, and stuff. And I've got obviously my camera and so hang the dress somewhere nice. Um, top tips is um, look for natural light, um, you know, look for somewhere that's just really clean looking if possible. Um, if I do come in and I find this in the wrong place, I will, you know, ask, hopefully, hope your, your bridesmaids can help me to move it. Um, but, yeah, we're just like somewhere that's pretty clean, not a lot of clutter around. Um, so, yeah, if you could get the dress ready, that would just save so much time um, and, and effort for me. So, yeah, but, I, you know, I've said this before and I, I will say it again. But, yeah, if you could hang the, the all-important dress up ready for me to photograph, that would just, just be amazing. You know, look for, like, a pretty wardrobe. Um, obviously a window if the um, rail can support the dress because some dresses are very heavy mm. um, and also consider getting a hanger some dresses will come on just like a standard plastic hanger so you know a lot of my brides will have personalized hangers with their name and their date on yeah. that and they look really really nice in photo so consider I don't think they're that expensive um, just a little extra if you wanted to make your dress look extra pretty yes that's really good um and yeah and the same goes for the guys as well you know make sure you hang up your bits and pieces in an area i mean enjoy the time i will come to the guys if i do when it's and the bride really it's only about an hour before they're about to get their, their clothes on yeah. anyway so it's all it's, it's it's cool and so well what i'm going to go on to um is for us guys uh, i think i've said this before on a previous facebook live but i do think it's a very important thing which is learn to do your buttonhole now, I've walked into a room previously at wedding, for example, where there's been six men um, preparing themselves, getting ready. I'm taking the photos. And the last thing they say to me is, oh, do you know how to do my buttonhole? I don't know how to do it. Um, so obviously, I'm there to document your day. It's probably going to take me between five to ten minutes per person to fit the button or, or hold on to uh, the groomsman and all his guys. So I would advise that you perhaps look up YouTube videos. Uh, and if you need to, I can put a description in the link below. Yeah, and one of the you. important things that uh, I advise you guys to have is have the um, buttonhole and for you and your guys delivered to your room. Because you don't want to have it fitting at the church, you're going to be rushed, etc. Um, and Yeah, ask the florist if yeah. possible to deliver it where you're getting ready. Because as James said, if you leave it to where the ceremony is last minute, you're going to be chatting and we've had one groom forget to put the buttonhole on until later on and nobody realised because the... Uh, but sometimes it's not possible, we understand that. But mm -hmm. if, if possible, yeah, ask if the florist can deliver the buttonholes to where you're getting ready. And, yeah, and as James said, practice... You know, he's trying to do his job and um, he's happy to help out. But Absolutely. yeah, when you've got six or seven guys um, asking to, to put the buttonholes on, it, it really helps us out if you can prepare. Ask mum and dad as well. They'll probably be able to help you out. Yeah, mum, it's always lovely to, you know, get the mum putting the buttonhole on, on the guy. Yeah. They can make some lovely shots, you know. So yeah. yeah. 
good stuff. Yeah, okay, so my turn, number three, is um, bridesmaids, get dressed first. Um, when you're getting ready, um, a rough ballpark, we like to arrive about an hour and a half before the bride is due to step into her dress. That's just a rough ballpark. Sometimes it's a bit longer, sometimes, you know, a little bit less. But we like to arrive about an hour and a half before the bride is due to get into her dress. Now, if you're all getting ready at the same time, you know, it's just a bit crazy. So ask your bridesmaids to, to get dressed first. And then when they're all ready, they can help you into your dress. They're fully dressed. It can make for some beautiful photos. Yes. Um, also, we... I mean, this could apply to the groom as well. We would love to spend sort of five or ten minutes alone with the bride or groom before yeah. they're due to leave. Now, if you've got one or two bridesmaids, it's normally fine. Um, mm. I can normally get the shots that I need. But if you've got three, four, five bridesmaids, six sometimes, and yourself and your mum all in one room, um, sometimes you, I can't get them sort of clean shots. There's too many people. So if you've got a lot of bridesmaids, um, either ask them to go next door to get ready whilst maybe you and your mum or your best friend, whoever is getting you into the dress, mm. um, or once everyone's ready and you're dressed, ask them to leave and just, just give me five or ten minutes alone with you so we can just make sure we get them really beautiful, you know, lovely shots before you leave. Bride's going to be glowing. She's got all her makeup done. She looks beautiful. A magical part and of the day. It is. And the same goes for the guys. Um, shall I move on to mine? What yes. I was going to say? Yeah. yeah. So what, what I was going to say for uh, my number three, as this does apply to both the bride and to the grooms, make sure you've got a clear space by a window. Now, we love to use uh, natural light in our photography. Uh, obviously, in the evening, we're using our flashes, but... Generally, on the day, we like to use natural light because we love the effect that that creates on our photos. So what we ask both bride and groom is to create a clear space near a window where you've got nice natural light coming in. That can apply to any accessories as well. But as Kerry said, when we um, have got the bride ready, we like to ask at least five minutes, ten minutes with the bride, and we can place her by the window, make sure there's nothing in the background, the cans of hairspray, half bottles of gla glasses of wine, things like that. Nice, clean areas. And those are the photos that you're going to want to keep and look back and even you know, Facebook profile pics and things like that. And yeah, and if, if you are getting ready at home, you know, you don't have to have a, like an amazing hotel room. I mean, if you're getting ready at home, just try to keep one one corner of a, of a room clear. I mean, our bride two weeks ago, you know, um, it was just amazing. <laughs> um, you know, she got everything ready. She hung the dress up oh, in the nice great. light. And um, yeah, it was really good. So yeah, just keep one. It's, I suppose, especially for the girls, maybe the guys as well, but the girls, it's, as Jane said, there's lots of hairspray and makeup and tongs and hair dryers. Yeah. And, you, you guys might not see it on the day, but we see it because it's our job to see these things and try and move you around. And, and as we're documentary wedding photographers, we try not to control a lot of the day. We will yeah. photograph what's in front of us and we're constantly you know seeing stuff behind the camera and we have to put a camera down and move it and and stuff which we will do if we have to but if mm. you could just keep one area and as james said near a big near a big window where there's this natural light coming in is, is a good good sort of point um yeah so that's a really good tip as well and um, my number that's four <laughs> okay and um, this i've been finding as well um girls don't know sort of it's everything's calm and fine, the hair and makeup is being done and, you know, a bit of music's been playing and it's all fine. And then it comes to getting the dress on and then it all sort of time starts running away with you. Um, do practice how long it will take to get your dress on, girls. Mm. Um, some dresses will have buttons that need to individually be put over like the little loops. Um, and I've seen, and obviously, you know, your bridesmaids or your mum, whoever, is a little bit nervous on wedding day. So have a have a practice run and maybe get your dressmaker to show you. I mean, some dresses just zip up, it's fine. Um, some dresses you step into, that's fine. But if you have got a lot of buttons up the back and they need hooking on to each one, it can take up to sort of 20 minutes. And then that sort of, you know, ask any of our previous brides, and it's so true, you know, up until you get in the dress on, it's all fine. And then it's all like, oh, you know, the car's arrived and everything goes crazy. So... Yeah, but have a practice run of how long roughly it will take you to get into your dress and add on a little extra five minutes and we can, you know, because I will be taking photographs as well. So you know, take your time. But yeah, a really important one. Um, what kind of dress have you got? How does it do up? How do you get into it? How long is it going to take you to get into your dress? Because that could take, you know, a good 20 minutes out of your, out of your morning and they're very precious minutes because it's the moments before you'll be due to leave. 
Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, I mean, should we have a little break and see who's come to say Let's do it, yeah. Hi. I saw a really lovely comment from our bride two weeks ago. Um, she's given some good tips on, on this Facebook page. I'm sure mm -hmm. everyone can see it. Mm -hmm. um, but And your morning wasn't crazy at all. No, it, it, was, was it was a amazing. pleasure. It was absolutely, <laughs> it was lovely, lovely. Me and James cannot stop smiling looking at your photos. Yeah, we're really, 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 absolutely. I mean, every wedding's fantastic. Oh, yeah. But to finish it off with, with the photos that we, we, we got, we're really, we're always Proud. buzzing for about two weeks after our last wedding was still just like oh have you seen this one and like it was just it was, that was magical but yeah as Anne said you know maybe delegate a member of your bridal party or your mum whoever to sort of look at the timings and make sure everything's running and everything you've got everything together and stuff yeah. so this is it's a good point you know but it's it's normally crazy on wedding mornings it's completely normal you yeah. know as long yeah. as it's organized yeah chaos then that's absolutely fine please excuse our so, dogs so, coughing in the coughing. background <laughs> Wait, who we've got, who we've got here we got yeah, louise. Louise, hi, louise. louise hi louise hi jess. jess hi jess yeah it is and, and, and previous jk bride <laughs> yes Thank you for giving your tips. This, um, but and honestly, your morning was it was a dream. It, it was, was fantastic. so serene, and we, we can't stop smile. talking about it. Yes, so. and we have seen your email. We'll reply to you after. We will indeed. And I love the fact that you've used the photo that I took um, for your Facebook profile pic. So anyone who's watching, have a look at Anne's profile pic. We absolutely James love will that show photo. anyone that will look that photo. He's just like, oh, did you see our really Joe Bride? This beautiful. What a, what a magical day. We can't, we can't wait to, to share. Can't wait to chat to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we can go on. And yeah, about it. But should we, we go can. on with the We're last move couple? On to our number four. No, no, your number four. This is my number, number four. four. Yeah, this is my number four, and this mainly applies uh, for us guys. Now, uh, for me, I mean, my hair's a little bit thin, uh, but I want to be looking good on my wedding day. So, rather than use the usual products that I may use, go and treat yourself to some nice, good men products out there. L'Oreal, other companies out there have been doing some great products, which I actually use for both my hair and for my beard, and I feel that I feel more confident uh, with regards to that. And um, the neckline. If you do not have a full beard, guys, we advise that you have a shave the night before your wedding, not on the day of your wedding, because there has been times when I've gone to the grooms and he's getting ready, oh yeah, having a shave and that, they're rushing around, whoosh, cut the neck. Blood appears on the shirt, your shirt's ruined, etc. So for the guys, if you're gonna have a shave, have a shave the night before, it's so important. Do a few little beauty treatments, you know, I don't, I'm not ashamed to say that I like to put a bit of moisturizer on my face, make myself look good and relax, some nice deodorant. And the same as the girls would have, they have a nice perfume. Guys, go out there and get yourself a nice cologne as well. It's your one and only special day that you're going to get married. You want to be feeling your best and looking your best. And you forgot to mention the beard comb. James, like, will not go anywhere <laughs> without his beard comb. But it's true, us girls, we do. You know, we comb our hair throughout the day and apply lipstick and that. And, you know, the guys, yeah, you know, you get yourself a, a beard comb. And... Yeah, why not treat yourselves? Yeah. It's our day too, as well as the brides, you know. So, yeah, a beard comb. I, I always have a beard comb, as Kerry says on me. I like to every now and then give my beard a little comb just to make it look nice. I mean, at the moment, I've given it... Excuse me, Lily. <laughs> She's saying you Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give my beard... I've recently given it a trim. Uh, just because I wanted to, but obviously if you've got a long beard, I, I used to like combing it all the time to keep it nice and uh, tidy looking. Can you so, tell that we love beards? Yeah, we, we yeah. do love a beard. Lily does, don't you Lily? Yes. Yeah, she's down here, she's saying hello to everybody. Lily is our you? little Boston <laughs> Terrier. <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah. Hopefully she'll be quiet uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll move on to number five. Um, I've touched on this before, um, again, we would love to, and I'm going to say it again, because we would love to spend five or ten minutes alone with the bride beforehand. Um, but this can be in, in your room uh, before you do to leave. It depends where you're getting ready, I suppose. Um, but like I said, if you've, if you've got one or two bridesmaids, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you've got, got a big bridal party and that, just... Um, we, we get a lot of time with the couple, um, and they're, they're great. But I would like to spend more time just alone alone with the bride. So, yeah, allocate five or ten minutes after you've got your dress on in the bridal suite. That would be perfect. And, again, you can ask your girls to sort of leave and, and go on ahead. Um, I said I may have got the images. I'll let, I would let you know. If it's one or two bridesmaids, that should be fine. Yeah, because as being documentary running photographers, you can normally just sort of yeah, get those shots or even away. just ask the bride, could you stand by the window, hold your bouquet up to you, up to you look at me, smile, yeah. relax, relax those shoulders. You know, they, they could be nice, but obviously if you want to spend a little bit more time that we feel that we've not got the right kind of photos that we're looking for yeah. for our style, 
then we'll may ask. Yeah, and as I said before, if you've got sort of a big bridal party, four or five bridesmaids, sometimes there could be flower girls, you know, sometimes like the aunties like to come in and, you know, everyone wants to be a part of your day. But, you know, if you have got, you know, your bridal suite and it's yourself with five or six bridesmaids, your mum, maybe your auntie, the, the flower girls, sometimes I'm not going to be able to get them them beautiful, clear shots. And as James said, just like the guys, you're going to be looking amazing. At that point of the day is the time, you know, the anticipation, the excitement, you're just going to be your makeup just going to be perfectly done everything's perfect so um i'm going to sort of ask for this a bit more if there's a massive bridal party i would like to spend I just need five or ten minutes you know where everyone's out of the room it's just just before you leave um i know of days can overrun as i said and i'm not going to push sure. for that if you know if we have to shoot out the door but maybe consider it us girls always leave getting dressed until the last minute before we leave. I do it myself. You know, I don't get dressed until I'm due to go out the door. So really look at your timings. You know, what time is your hair and makeup could be finished? As I said, how long is it going to take you to get into your dress? And then is there a little bit of time before your car or you're, you're due to leave? Just to, to get some nice, especially if you've got a beautiful bridal suite as well, yeah. you know, make the most of it, you know. Um, so it's just something con to, to consider. Yeah, and if you're standing on a premises, for example, where there's beautiful open gardens and yeah. there's lovely uh, wide open spaces there to get some of those photos. But, you know, if it can't be done, it doesn't matter because we've, we've done it before where we've actually gone on to the evening and we've got some garden areas. Yeah, the and then we'll do, you know, get some lovely shots of the brides then, um, which is absolutely fine, you know. Mm. But it's, it's, it's nice if you could do it in the morning. In the morning. And, yeah, and that's a good point. If you're getting ready at home, or your parents and they've got a beautiful garden then yeah you could Just go out in the garden yeah some lovely photos yeah we've there. done that before yeah so i said don't let time run away with you really look at your timings and again you know we will sit with our couples and look at their timings and after five years we're finding that we sort of can look at timeline now and give you advice on what will work and what won't work but you know it, it's your day will work yeah. with you but we we like to give advice you know we do <laughs> so i'm going to go on to my fifth and final one and this appears, well, appeals really to sort of both parties, um, which is we ask that you keep all your things together that you'd like to have photographed. So from the guys, shoes, aftershave, uh, if you've got a pocket watch, for example. I've had a wedding before where um, halfway through the day, the groom suddenly got a pocket watch out. I didn't know anything about it. And I was like, oh, well, what's this? And they explained that, you know, their bride had given it to them the night before, and blah, blah, blah. I knew nothing about that. But luckily I was able to clock it. I got the photo, which was great. But make sure that you've got that ready for me on the morning. Uh, and for Kerry, from the girl's point of view, as Kerry said before, perfume, garters, uh, any, something else, Jewelry. something blue, you know, the yeah. usual bits and anything pieces. special. As we said, our bride from two weeks ago, and she, we walked in and she'd set it all up for oh, us. Lovely, yeah. And there was a little countdown. A lot of our brides have the countdown, how many yeah, days. And yeah. that, that was so lovely. And, yeah, and as James said, the shoes. And this, again, for the guys, the you know perfume, aftershave. Any little details that you want us. And, you know, save us walking in on the morning and saying, all right, have you got this? Have you got that? What do you want us to focus oh, on? Let me go and find it. Um, 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 stressing, yeah. etc. We don't want to stress you out on your day. We're coming here and we're trying to be stress-free. Make sure you enjoy your day. I think Anne must have been watching some of our previous videos yeah. and previous blogs and stuff, which is great. Exactly. She's taking that on, which is what we educate our brides and grooms to do, which is why we love doing these videos. Yeah, and you don't have to set it up all beautifully. Just get it all in one place for us. You know, we're happy to, we're very lucky that Anne set it all out beautifully mm. for us, but just get them all in one place because we can sort of set them up and, and use them. But yeah, get all your details into one spot before you yeah. do anything else and it just really really helps us out. and the cufflinks for the guys as yep. well cufflinks and even ties maybe any yeah. little details yeah. whether it be a tie or bow tie anything yeah anything special yeah. and again that goes back to asking um for your florist to bring your buttonholes because then i can get the picture with that as well to get your shoes pocket watch buttonhole these things can make nice little extras into your gallery Tell for your the wedding story of yeah. the day yeah yeah it really all, all does add to it yeah, so we hope that's been helpful. Yeah, I think it's been great. And I'd love to thank everyone for coming on and uh, watching today's Facebook Live. Now, we want to make an announcement with regard to November. Yes. It's going to be our last one, isn't it? Before yeah, we, break we up thought we holidays. don't want to do a Facebook Live in December. It's Christmas, you know, we want to sort of relax. Kick back. And yeah, we, we, you guys we, yeah. don't want to see us in Christmas. So, yeah, November is going to be our last Facebook Live of the year. So, 
If you have any questions, anything you'd like for us to discuss, any questions you may have about even if you're a bride and you're you're in the process of getting married next year, we've already got a good lot of bookings this oh, last this couple last of weeks. Couple of weeks. Been it's been crazy. crazy. Been it's been fantastic. Been, yeah. And and you know, if you have any questions and you're an upcoming upcoming bride or groom uh, and you do have any questions and concerns, and please don't by all means yeah. add them in the comments below and we would be more than happy to respond. And we may even do a Facebook live on that subject if we feel that it'd be a good subject to bring yeah, up. Yeah, give us anything groups. you want us to talk about obviously photography or wedding related then do let us know mm. um, but if not we'll well i'm sure we'll find something to talk about and give you a summary of our year and yeah. yeah and if any of you guys out there that have been watching this today um if, if you want to see the link for the instructions on how to do the buttonhole please pop your name below and just say yes please can i see that and i'll pop the link in there for you and keep an eye out for our blog on Wednesday for our last wedding of the year. It is going to be We're very excited amazing. to be sharing yes. that with you guys. Um, and also, if you're not already following us on our Instagram page, we're James and Kerry Photography over on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Yes. Daily inspiration, and I, I love Instagram. So come on over and say hi. And we hope that you guys have a lovely weekend and enjoy the rest of this beautiful autumnal Saturday. It looks yeah, amazing out there. It's a bit chilly out there, but we do love autumn. And we. Uh, Look forward to speaking to you guys soon and hope you have a fantastic uh, weekend. Weekend, yes. And by all means, any questions, don't hesitate to put them below. And yeah, we'll be in touch. Say goodbye. Thanks for joining us, everyone. See ya. Take care of yourselves. Bye, Bye. now.